Tell me ma when I go home The boys won't leave the girls alone To pull my hair Can I ask you something Buffy? Ah here we bleed and go What is it now? Would you ever cheat on me? What do you mean cheat on you? Like in a Monopoly game or something? No, I, I mean with, with another man. What the hell would give you that idea? Tiffany said you fancy Bunny Roach. Your bleeding sister, Dimpna, said that, did she now? She said you were trying to get into his flat. Yeah, to get me and you on the telly. Everything I do was for me and you, Normie. Really? What about Kick and Gok? Well, yeah, them two, of course. But you're me bleeding boyfriend. Remember that? Now... Are we done with all this cheating business? I'll be grand. Thanks, Buffy. However... Ah, oh, for feck's sake. What is it now? You are cheating on your husband, after all. To be with me, bleeding boyfriend. Yeah. What's wrong with that? So you are capable of cheating. Do you see what I mean? You're doing my bleeding head in here, Naomi. Me husband is in prison and me boyfriend is not. What's the bleeding problem with that? Life is good. That... Does seem to make some logical sense. Common bleeding sense, more like it. You're right. Carpe diem. Carpe what? Seize the day. Right. Exactly. Now, let's go into town and rob some. Oh, I would love that, Buffy. But can we put it back afterwards? Jesus, your gas, you are. To be honest with you, Buffy, I'd hate to end up in prison next to your husband. We better not get caught, so... Come on, I have to pick up some bleeding rashes for Gick and Gok. You're such a good person, Buffy. Don't I bleed and know it? What's that you're wearing? It's me good dress. Maybe in 1970 feckin' nine it was your good dress. What's that supposed to mean? Listen to me very carefully, Emphysema. The name of the programme is the best worst family in Ireland. Don't I know that? What's your point? We may be, and hopefully we are, the best worst family in Ireland. But do we really have to be the ugliest? Are you saying I'm ugly, Jeremy? Get a feckin' grip on yourself. I'm talking about that excuse for a dress. This is me good dress. I told you that. Jimmy loves me in this. That dress is so ugly I wouldn't wipe the feckin' floor with it. What are they on it? Are they supposed to be leaves? Or some kind of feckin' shrubberies? They're flowers. Brown feckin' flowers. I don't think so. They used to be yellow. Yeah, well, a name of De Valera used to be the feckin' president. Get rid of it. Me good dress? No feckin' way. Bunny is going to love this. Well, I'm not letting that excuse of a dress of yours prevent me from winning one million euros. Do you hear me? How dare you insult me like that? It's that feckin' dress that's doing the insulting. What's going on in here? Jeremy here is insulting me dress. Why? Is it because of all the little shite balls on it? What are you feckin' talking about? Shite balls? The pots are all over the feckin' dress. These are flowers, Dimpna. They're not feckin' flowers. I'm telling you they're little shite balls. Maybe little squirrel shite balls. Excuse me, Dimpna. But what is it exactly that you're supposed to be wearing? It looks like one of Norman's outfits. It's me best tracksuit. You're not in the feckin' homeless Olympics. You're going to be on the telly. So can you dress appropriately, please? We're not going to win a million euros with you two looking like that. You both need a proper dress. I suppose I could always go to Pennies and see what they have on sale. They can be very expensive, Pennies. I wouldn't let you buy a pair of knickers and Pennies. I buy all my good clothes there. That's obvious. I mean, the state is... No, I want you both to go into Brown Thomas's on Grafton Street. I will in me hole. It's a little expensive, isn't it, Jeremy? Besides, I don't think they've had dimpness size and brown Thomases. Look at her. All arse and no boobs. Would you listen to her? I'm not having this conversation again. I could tell you not in your boobs, Mummy. Stop it about you. Now you're going to Brown Thomases and you're buying new dresses. And where are we expected to get the money? Jimmy's tattooing business. Where else? Is it another urine sample you're wanting, Miss Savage? I'm not here today at your parole officer, Mr Bowles. But what are you doing here, so? Do you want a tattoo? I'm waiting for Bunny Roach. He is putting me on the telly. It's amazing how everyone wants to be on the telly these days. It's where I belong, Mr Bowles. I'm not cut out for this justice department. I'm more a reality TV type. Oh, that could be Bunny Roach now. Tell him I'm in here waiting for him, Mr Bowles. Hurry up and answer that bloody thing, will you? Tell him how beautiful I look. 
Hello. Tattoo artist Jimmy Balls speaking. I saw you at Tesco's yesterday, Mr. Balls. What do you mean you saw me at Tesco's? Who is this? You didn't have your mask on and you were touching all the apples. I forgot me mask and I only touched a few of the apples. I'm coming for you now, Mr. Balls. Jesus, is that you, Mrs. Murphy? Listen, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Hello? 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 That didn't sound like Bunny. Was that Mrs. Murphy? I'm afraid so. Did she see you doing something you shouldn't be doing? She did, yeah. What would she do to me, do you think? She's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, that one. She just keeps coming for you. And coming for you. And coming for you. Mrs. Murphy never stops. What can I do? Tell her you're sorry and that you'll never do it again. Beg her for forgiveness. And will she leave me alone? She might just let you off with a clatter to the back of the head. Or, for that matter, Mrs. Murphy might just kill you. She has quite the reputation in the Justice Department. What kind of a reputation? They call her the Terminator. Mrs. Murphy? Jesus, it's only huge, isn't it? I don't think we should be in here. Shite's too expensive. I'm not leaving here without a dress. Jeremy is right. If we're going to be on the telly, we need a proper dress. The Lord Mayor himself thinks it. Vincent Jackson? Will you stop going on about him? So he's on the telly every chance he gets. But that's his job, didn't it? It's going to be our job soon enough. Now, let's get these feckin' dresses. Ah, who's this gobshite coming for us? You the... Excuse me, you two. Hello? You talking to us? The cleaning staff are not permitted on the floor. Is that right? Now please, go back to where you keep your buckets and things before my customers arrive. Pardon me, we are your feckin' customers. You don't see us carrying a bucket, do you? <clears throat> Heavens, my mistake entirely. Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Brown Thomas. You do know you are both in Brown Thomas, don't you? I saw the sign on the door, so yeah. Very good afternoon to you too, sir. Yeah, right. Didn't I? Would you give the gentleman a chance? My name is Forbes. How might I be of service to you two ladies? Were you looking for Dolce Gabbana, Hermes, Armani, Louis Vuitton? Or was it just the toilet? We're looking for the dresses department, Mr Forbes. I'd probably be using the toilets too, Forbes, since we're already here. That's not my department. Were you looking for evening wear or afternoon wear? Weekend or midweek? Do you have any, any time dresses? What me mummy means is, do you have an all day dress kind of a thing? Absolutely not. Nothing like that in Brown Thomas. Well... What kinds do you have? Once again, night or day? I see. We do have a new rather pedestrian line you might be interested in seeing. Unfortunately, we may not have your size, come to think of it. What's that supposed to mean? Looks to me like you've had a few too many curly whirlies yourself there, Mr Forbes. I don't know what a curly whirly is, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait. Listen to me. There's a suit over there that'd do my Jimmy perfect. Your Jimmy? The blue yoke on the mannequin over there. Oh, that's only gorgeous, Mummy. Jimmy would look a proper ride in that. Ah, the Armani, you mean. Yes, exquisite. Yeah, I'll take one of them in an extra large for my Jimmy. The Armani? The one for 50 euros, yeah. We certainly don't have any Armani for 50 euro. Or anything else, for that matter. There's a price tag in the top pocket, says 50 euro. The handkerchief is 50 euro, ma'am. The handkerchief in the top pocket. 50 euro for a bleeding hanky? I don't feckin' think so. Forget the feckin' suits. 
Show us the dresses, Mr. Forbes. I feel I should be frank. Who? We may not have your sizes. Frightfully sorry. What do you mean you don't have your sizes? You're both rather sizable. No offence. It's been the scourge of the pandemic. We've had quite the run on the larger sizes as of late. So, a bunch of fat ones got in here before us. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Forbes? Mm, I'm afraid so. Come on, Timpna. We're going to feckin' pennies. Be sure to come back, won't you? Feck you, Forby. Who wipes her nose with a feckin' hanky that costs 50 euros? I will be tonight. I just feckin' robbed it. <laughs> <laughs>